So I I have brought the whole record into my team like one three times. So in average, one single that's correct. And I I think the most important thing that I have done in my path was in a country. I won a TV show called Peru Talent. So like I did perform with Bruce Hugh. And I was in a team work with Billy Sender. You know you probably know him because he's like more famous. And we won in a kind of weird challenge. And then I did group two then for the underwater. So that's like a really, really cool thing like for myself. I'm really proud of that. Um, yeah. In terms of speed queuing, last year I won US National Threat here in this country. And that I for the uh, same as I did in Asian Championship. Okay, so let's get to the point. Can students support the teacher? Can you can you read what? Yeah, right. Yeah. So the answer is not yes, yes or no, because there's a lot of things involved. Let me start with me. So when I start, I started at the beginning of 2013 in just Rubik's Cube. Before that, I didn't even think that it was possible to solve a Rubik's Cube. Okay? I'm pretty sure all of you have been there at some point. So before I talk about who is this guy and why it's really, really important in this seminar, I need to ask you some questions. First of all, uh, in the country sometimes I do kind of conferences and I always have to do this question, but I'm pretty sure the answer here is going to be so different from there. So, raise your hand if you know how to solve a roof skill. Yeah, 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 that's a lot, a lot of work. a lot of people. <laughs> okay, now let's keep going. Uh, two seconds, uh, keep it like this, and then as, uh, as I move forward, just keep it down if you don't, uh, if you don't, like, uh, if you don't qualify. Next question. How many of you uh, know that it's possible to solve a room to blindfold? Yeah. Yeah, but before I just did it, okay? <laughs> um, okay, yeah, let's take another Next question. How many of you, who, and at some point in the past, maybe, wanted to try blindfolded. Like, try to learn that, that kind of techniques. Okay, still a lot. Wow, I didn't know that. And how many of you get a success? Doesn't matter if it was three hours. Really? Really? All of you have no one thing, you know? Okay, that's a clap for you. I mean, 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 Final question, just so I can know how deep can I go into theory in this talk. How many of you are like so one minute? Oh, okay. Okay, you will get the whole idea of this conversation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah, put your hands up. So, I am pretty sure that I've been in all that kind of questions along my queuing career. Again, I started in 2013, but blank for them, like in Really, like for the first time I did it was in July. Why did I did it? I was in school, I was trying to impress people saying, ah, I can solve a Rubik's Cube. But then it just got into the figure of Rubik's Cube and everybody was doing it, so I was okay, what else can I do? I don't want to learn how to juggle. Uh, I want to that I like it. Wait, that's a beautiful guy doing it blindfolded. Yeah, 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 he's cheating somehow. <laughs> that was my first thought. Uh, I've been talking with a lot of people, and yeah, uh, at the beginning it's not hard to believe that that's impossible or that he is not a human, you know, that, like Felix. Um, <laughs> but then I actually go into these, learn some things thanks to the internet, and I learned uh, from a really, really bad tutorial. I mean, I don't want to be disrespectful for the person that created that tutorial that I saw, so I won't say what tutorial I saw. And yeah, I was, I, was uh, I saw one in Spanish and it was really, really bad. It wasn't even a video tutorial, just text. Even though I learned from there. I was like 35 minutes my first solve. I'm pretty sure most of you that try it have to start with less time than me. Anyway, that was July. So I really started doing blind. Um, I attended my first competition in October. And I did almost five minutes. And my two first solve, I bought the cube. Yeah, my parents had with me that that was true, and that was like a really bad beginning for me. But who cares, right? Um, and while I was doing this, that night that I saw the video, Roberto, me, he was the NR for Peru in that moment. He was doing uh, 
48 seconds, I believe. Yeah, 48 seconds. If you have not seen this, okay. 48 seconds, the same competition. Versus me, uh, 4 minutes, 24 seconds. Yeah, that's a really big difference. Uh, like a starting point. Again, uh, for me, it was like, I don't care about being last because I know I'm just new into this. I start asking him some questions. I asked him to add me on Facebook. But actually, he knew that I was going to be so, so annoying as you can possibly think. We had like a background chat history really, really long from the starting from that competition. I started to ask him a lot, a lot of questions because I really wanted to improve. Uh, he was like the best example that I can preach because I write to some guy, Poland guy, Marcin Kowalski, he never replied back. <laughs> and I am among another top cubers. So, well, I saw him in person, so if he didn't reply, it would be so mean. So he did. This is the first, uh, I mean, this is the oldest video that I found of myself doing live. I did 1 minute uh, 52 seconds, that was next year 2000, 2014. And he was doing 20, 41 seconds, the same competition. So he proved like 7 seconds, I proved like 4 minutes. But we all know that that's, uh, that's really easy, that's common, because when you first start, you can improve a lot in terms of seconds. As we go on, uh, so the first part was the beginning. This is the second forever. As you, as you can see, I was second in every competition except when he didn't go to that competition. That's why I won. But he was winning all the, all the competitions in line. I'm talking this about three line, okay? For this, uh, at this point, I think, I believe, yeah, yeah, I, I already beat him, but in Murzen line. Another, another event that really, he wasn't focusing that, so it makes sense. In Jimmy line for that, I, that was in, yeah, June of 2014, the competition where I was pretty much top one. And I don't know if you can see, but the, in the first round, I did a na national record on mean of three. Okay, the only reason that I had it is because he will have been always in uh, three souls in a row. And I did 46 seconds, and he was uh, 46 seconds too in the same competition. So you might think, okay, you already reached his level. That's not true. He uh, run before did like 10 seconds uh, faster than me. So I think it's still a difference, and I knew it. So at that point of my life, at the end of 2014, um, at the beginning of 2015, I traveled here. Yeah, you might didn't know about that because um, you haven't followed my track in that moment. But I was living here like for three months in New Jersey with my aunt. For a lot of things, including practice my English. And I was practicing like freaking crazy every single day on, on her house, all around her house. And also outside. So I was giving like a lot in those three months because I had a lot of free time. When I got back to Peru, I was waiting for a competition. I really wanted to go to one. And then in June, a competition occurred. But for this, he was improving, of course. In 2015, in January, he was doing 33 seconds. And I was like, okay, I really want my chance to prove that I can do that because I told you three months freaking, uh, freaking crazy training. Uh, so what happened? Something really cool. Finally, to, uh, 2015, June, my first competition of that year, and I, I was improving a lot. So as you can imagine, I got sub 30. I mean, I know that's not world record, I know that's not continental record, whatever, but sub 30 in that, like, Sub 30, yeah, sub 30, that, that, that's, that's, I have to be okay? Sub 30, if that was really important for me, because that was part of national record in single. And that's when I proved that I was able to reach his level. As we go on, this is our, another stage of my life, in, in, in which a really short um, moment, that's like in the same year, in May, I did that 20, 29. But when we were finishing July, maybe because I had like a lot of competition and a lot of reasons to be motivated because I attended a World Championship the previous month, I did until 21 seconds. And that's really, really impressive comparing with him because he was doing, uh, he couldn't reach his affair yet. That's also because when, when you are doing line, well, you have a life, you have things to do, so he wasn't that focused. Uh, but I, I really was focused, that's why. Um, at this moment, the phrase became true because for
For getting here, this a lot of things that happen between my transitions from method to method. For GOP, that's the name of a basic method. To, uh, what's the name? Turbo, that's like intermediate. Then commutators. For this, I was not only going for chat, uh, talking with Roberto. I was going to this place, sometimes twice, twice a week, and he would like literally give me a class, like a class, like one to one, one, or one to three, sometimes another person's come with me. He was, he was really, really friendly, he was really kind, because he, did, he didn't mind sharing all the concept, all his time, putting the passion that he has online, like a reflecting for me to, to I wouldn't say absorb, but to learn from that passion, because I become really passionate in that moment. So for me, that didn't finish, I did my first sub, sub 20, yeah, that's what I did. That, that's the first sub 20 that I did really, really recently, you know, like two weeks, ago, two weeks ago. So what I wanted to say with this is that for me, Roberto really, really was my teacher. I would say that I learned from different people. I watched different tutorials. I talked to many people. But from that time, I learned most. I learned like, how can I say? Uh, more than just theory, more than just practice, because we share a, a, a lot of things in common. He likes to play the guitar like this, so we become the really close friends. Um, nowadays, he's not like improving anymore. He has a lot of things. He has a huge story for for example. And that's really cool with him. I don't know. But, like, I, I, I really want to keep improving. I have said the word really too many times, okay? So, anyway, that's. And that put us like in the present, pretty much. So what's happened now? I've been like a student like for all that time, but nowadays I still consider myself a student because I continue learning from different people and from myself. You know, a lot of people ask me, okay, when you are the best in the world, what do you do next? I mean, who do you learn from? I cannot say that this works for all the 18 events because I don't know them. But in case of that, there is a lot of things that you just need a cube, not, not even internet. You can just work with that and learn yourself. So that's what I have been doing these days. So if you know me and if you like, like probably you know this guy too. If you don't know him, please, you should understand that here. Uh, we need to give him a clap because he has a world record. And he has a
this is not a boxing ring match, it's not a one leaf, one guy, no, nothing like that. This is, if I improve, I can make you improve. If you improve, you can make me improve. And that's happening a lot of times. So at the beginning, we were discussing about, hey, how do you do this? And I was like, oh, I do this. Uh, this uh, I do it 1.0 seconds. And then again, like, hey, how do you do this case? Oh, yeah, I do this at 0.8 seconds, whatever. Nowadays, it's just, hey, do you, do you do this? No, no, I just did this is more, more fast. Uh, faster. Uh, and it's like, this, the information goes and comes, and uh, yes, we just keep improving together. And uh, that's the way it should work. I don't know if that works in all the theories, many things, but it should be, because it's an easy way to improve really quickly, you know? <coughs> so what's going on is that uh, it's cool to say that we are like both class level, world class level, and we are like having this friendly match that is uh, tomorrow, tomorrow at 4 30. So if you want to see, at 4. Tomorrow at 4 or 4 30. The final of three right there, you're totally welcome to come and see uh, a really cool uh, result. So for me, this is a custom result. We've been training a lot, and this official competition is the opportunity to prove that anyone, I mean, anyone could get this kind of level. If you have the right guy and the willing to to that to, to start doing those small and then really big steps, you know what I mean? I think oh never mind about that. So <laughs> I wanna end I wanna end this with just two phrases. Two advices. If you consider yourself right now a student, please uh, be a good student. You know this is this kind of speech you in community. And this is not like, like, like a school that you have a teacher and you are paying to learn because 90% of the times, like this is just free advices, sometimes it's more chat than in person. So it's not the same. So what, what do I want to mean with that? The, it's okay that you have somebody that can teach you, but I've seen a lot of cases that maybe you want to ask something about that person is busy, or maybe there's something, especially with what are really, really beginner level, something that you can learn from internet. And I, I think sometimes it could, you could interpret anything like, hey, how do you do this over the parity? Or what's the other? And the person can say, like, okay, watching it on internet. I'm pretty sure that's happened a lot. At least in my corner, that sometimes happened that. The people that tell you this, I'm pretty sure they don't, they don't want to be in or whatever. It's just that there are a lot of things that internet can teach you. Because if I can say that Robert was my best teacher, my second best, it was internet. I can go and teach you that. There's a lot of things you can learn by, just by yourself and by things that people will really put in there. So it has free information for you. Right now I think that more than half of the things I know that, is, that are here that make me so the risk back for the uh, that speed. Yeah, that's that thing that there are on the internet. Anyone can, can go and start learning, especially uh, in English. When it's in Spanish, there's maybe less information, but in English, yeah, you have more. And you will have more, believe me. Uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Thank you for being here and for listening. And I hope you can enjoy the next thing.